Washington Square. All of your friends are waiting there. There's Rizzo and Dewey and Strawberry too. Hugo and Jimmy will ride with you. There's Gubbins who lives under Melody's hat. And Molly who's always up for a chat. So come on down to Rhymington Square. You'll have an adventure. A rambling chat about this and that. First thing this morning, I woke up from snoring out of a very deep sleep. Breakfast was bland. It was ham from a can. So I left without making a peep. The day was sunny, the kind that a bunny would love as it goes for a hop. I sailed down the trail, past a snail and his mail, until I was brought to a stop. There was a tree, as tall as can be, just asking for someone to climb. I gave it a think and was up in a blink, leaving the ground far behind. Branches are tough, they're rough and they scuff. I struggled to get to the top. I stopped for a rest as a guest in a nest. And that's when I had a thought. If I lose my shoes, first one, then two, and let my toes have a try, it's plain to see there's some monkey in me. And soon I said hi to the sky. Hello. I counted the birds and came up with words to describe all manner of cloud. When rain started to fall, I looked at a gull who said, Kid, you should really climb down. Looking down with a frown, I imagined the ground probably wasn't too soft. So I grabbed onto the knee of a passing bee. And suddenly I was aloft! We passed by a plane and were soaked by the rain and lightning crashed left and right. I looked at the bee who looked right back at me and we knew we were in for a fright. I told him my name. Hi, I'm Jimmy. And he did the same. I'm Peter, nice to meet you. While looking for some place to land, there's a time to chat, and this wasn't that. Whoosh. So I covered my mouth with my hand. We found some shade inside a cave, then realized we weren't alone. There was a bear, but he didn't care, so long as we got out of his home. The rain clouds were gone. It was time to move on. The bee was flying away. I waved goodbye and said, thanks for the ride. And he said, have a nice day. Looking at the horizon, I began realizing I'd forgotten which way was where. I walked for a while and thought with a smile, that's okay. I really don't care. 